Get that wild scene. Tempers flared, food went everywhere after Saturday night's football game between Brandeis and O'Connor High Schools. And it was made even worse because of where it happened, at that Whataburger out on the far northwest side. And the mess caused by the food fight was so bad, the restaurant had to close for the night. Now, the principals at the two schools are investigating to see whether students should face any punishment. News 4's Darlene Dorsey is live from the Whataburger, where it happened to explain why maybe nobody will face any discipline after this. Right, Darlene? Yes, some students, though, must sign what's considered a code of conduct form. And if any of those students participated in this food fight, that might be reason enough for punishment. But how did this all get started? There's always been rivalry between Brandeis, a newer school, and O'Connor High. The boundaries switched, so therefore uh, half of their players went to Brandeis and the other half stayed at O'Connor, and it made a big old rivalry to see whose team was going to be better. Off camera, some football players at Whataburger for lunch say it's been good-natured rivalry that spilled out of control with fans, other students. Everyone started like getting on tables and like cheering and then like saying like, oh, O'Connor's better or like Brandeis is better. Quickly, this team says it erupted. A war of words became a battle with food. The first thing that was thrown was ketchup and then after that it was like shakes and drinks and then food. The video is blurry. The fight lasted about 30 seconds and took workers about 30 minutes to clean up. Very hard to identify anybody in those things. It's fast moving, it's blurred. What's clear to Northside school administrators, some students should be punished. But Pascual Gonzalez says the district can't punish most students for actions away from campus. It's terribly embarrassing. But if they're in extracurricular activities like band or athletics and they were in the food fight, the students could be in trouble, possibly suspension. Those students sign a code of conduct and they're expected to leave a good impression, not a mess for the district to clean up. Whataburger, I'm told, has clear surveillance video. So far, it's not being shared and the company is not pressing charges against any students in the food fight. Now, this whole deal has sparked a lot of comments on our Facebook page. Some people say this is typical behavior for teens. Others say it's outrageous and believe the kids should be punished. They say one way to punish the teens, have them clean up after a football game at the stadium. Darlene Dorsey, News 4, San Antonio. Mm -hmm.